how do we multiply rather than add yeah so incremental yeah so look the the, the comment about you everybody knows how to add and subtract what they don't know how to do is multiply the concept there is is you're trying to make incremental changes. Like, okay, I made a million dollars last year. Everybody's very rational when the year comes around. Okay, we did a million last year, what can we do? Uh, we could do, we could grow by 10 or 15%. You're never gonna grow like that successfully. I know it makes sense, but it don't make money. And by the way, y'all should always remember this when somebody says, does that make sense? Okay, it might make sense, but it doesn't mean it's gonna make money. Because what happens when you go from a million dollars, okay? Like when you go from what happens, and this is what I used to try to do, and it didn't work, is when you go, let's say you figured out how to run a business on a million dollars of income, or you call it turnover, right? So you're like, okay, what are we gonna do this year? Last year we did a million dollars, and some smart person in the back of the room that doesn't even know how to get money, talk to anyone, uh, they're, they're in a boardroom, they've never actually made contact with another human being. They're like, we, I think we can grow the business 15% this year. We should be able to grow 15%, okay? So they're like, which is an ad, it's an ad, okay? Okay, we're gonna grow the business 150 grand. And then, and then they don't plan on anything bad happening. There's like, this is a universe where there's no gravity. No COVID, no gravity, no war, no disruption in the marketplace, no new technology, nothing. So, by the way, this might not even keep with inflation in some cases. Like, housing in America has inflated at 11% this year already. So it wouldn't even keep up with that. So what happens when you do incremental ads, you never get ahead enough, number one, and number two, you never plan for the setbacks. Number three, the most important thing is, you don't get a new set of problems. You get the same problems over and over. Okay, you guys that talk about burnout all the time, let me tell you what will burn you out. Dealing with the same damn problems over and over and over again. Give me a new problem, please. Something I have not. You give me anything new, I'm ready. You give me the same bullshit over and over and over and over again, you freaking wear me out. Okay, so how do I get new problems? I wrote about this in the, in the 10X rule. The, when you go 10X, the first thing that will happen is a new set of problems, always. Why do I want new problems? Because new problems require new answers, new questions, new people, new thinking. Old problems require no new think. It's the same thing over and over again, so you don't get any creativity here. Over here, we wanna multiply. In this case, hey guys, the goal should be this. This is simple. Okay, my meeting is gonna be faster than your meeting. They came up with something analytical, I came up with something unreasonable. Unreasonable in a good way. Hey guys, we're gonna go from $1 million to $10 million. Who do we need to buy? Where do we need to get the money? How many customers do we need to see? How much inventory would I have? Is it even possible? Oh my God, that's not possible. Is there $10 million on planet Earth? Yes, good, then it's possible. Now, how do we go there? So what I'm trying to do is get myself, oh my God, we would have to hire 50 more people. Good, new problem. Rather than complaining about the five people you have. That's how you multiply.